guys, welcome to this tutorial on Server.js and React. So before we get into Server.js and React, I'm going to assume that you already know how to um, use React and all you want to know is how to combine your Server.js with React. So uh, while I'm explaining things, let me start the re um, let me start the React app. npx create React app. Create let me do React app. Let's call it um, tutorial. So you can go ahead and do that while that is loading in, in the background. So what is Server.js? Server.js is basically a framework for creating surveys. This is the GitHub page for it, server.js. It's a framework for creating surveys. Now, React does have something similar. It's called, well, it's it's not React. There's something called Redux Forms. Redux Forms is is a, is very similar, where you can where you can create your own forms and it works right out of the box. The difference is Redux Forms is a little more complicated to set up. So here's an example of server.js. So let's take a look at it. So you see all of this. It's all, let's let's look go to the React version. Here's the React version, and here's the survey. Enter your name, your age. I'm not gonna enter that. Your color, <laughs> and you and you enter an email, whatever, and you complete. And even has validation for you right out of the box. So those kind of things. And let's take a look at the JavaScript. You need a JSON, and then you connect it to your React. That's all. So Server.js works out of the box, like something like Bootstrap. You know, you don't ha it's you don't have to do much. You just have to connect it to your React app, and you make it work. That's it. So I was going through YouTube to see other people who have talked about it, and I watched some videos, but. I didn't really find one that explains it in detail. So what I want to do is try to do a better job at explaining how to use Server.js with React. So let's see, is our React app done? Yes, it is. Let's let's go to tutorial, go into the folder, clay all of this, make it bigger. Here we go. Okay, so are we in tutorial? Yes, we are. All right, so let's open up the code. I'm using uh, Visual Deny Deny whatever. I'm using Visual Studio. There we go. Um, let's let's open let's open up the app. Let's see what it shows up. We're gonna say Beyond Start or npm start. It doesn't matter. Beyond Start. If you're using Yon, if you're using npm npm start. Honestly, it doesn't matter. They both as long as you start the React app. And this, you see the basic React app show, show up on the screen. There we go. So let's get rid of all of this. Uh, we can say, um, here, uh, let's go to app.js. I'm just going to get rid of all of this. Make this a little bigger so you can see my screen. Get rid of that. Um, let's put a header here. This is a header. That's all. Put it inside a main. There we go. Looking more efficient. And then, um, what is this saying? It's complaining about ES lanes. All right, beautiful. Allow. That's good. And then, we don't use the logo no more. Get rid of that. That this is the header. Perfect. All right. So um, let's go to the CSS. Let's get rid of all of this. We want empty React app. Get rid of this and call this the app. I want the background to be the color to be black and the background to be white. There we go. Mm, uh, keep the flex center. It's fine. We don't. We can leave it. There we go. This is a header. All right. This is good. All right, so here's just a very simple, basic React app. Now we're gonna add our survey to it. So the first thing you want to do is you want to. Well, 
there's so many different types of surveys here. as you can see question types choose the type that you want and then you and then you just inject it into your app so i'm going to use react hooks as i show you guys this tutorial i'm going to use the simple one first enter your name your birthday your favorite color and then we'll go to complete that'll be phase one so i'll let you guys do that so in the next video i'll i'll continue showing you how to inject your survey js into this react app thank you